Hi, I'm Kate Ahern, the Sangoma, and you're very welcome to the Sangoma TV. So the last video I hope you enjoyed and we touched on the centre we call the root chakra, which lies around the pubic area, the legs and the feet. So we're going to build on the meditation now. We're going to move up to the next centre, which we call the sacral chakra, or the second chakra. And that pertains to that point just above the pubic bone, but below the belly button. And it encompasses things like the ovaries and the, the womb in women and the testes in men. So the lower back as well. So all that area. And we spoke about the last time, the root chakra pertaining to root um, safety and security. Um, the sacral chakra, on the other hand, um, pertains to variety. So as much as we like safety and security, we also like variety. So I'm going to use a visualization technique and um, which will help you to get the sensation of movement um, through the sacral chakra. So um, sitting comfortably and when we do something like meditation or self-awareness, it's best that we're sitting uh, because it's alert awareness rather than falling asleep on the bed or on the on a floor or whatever so sitting upright and uh, again we spoke about maybe taking the shoes off so kicking the shoes off feeling the floor underneath and the first thing we always do is we come to breath so closing your eyes now and taking a nice deep breath in so really filling the tummy up with a nice breath right up into the lungs and up into the upper shoulders holding to the count of three and then just letting go you just want to repeat that again yourself. So taking a nice big deep breath in, holding and releasing and letting go. And as you let go, you're letting go of all the tensions and the worries that have built up. So again, just repeating that one more time. Take a deep breath in, hold and release. So then we're just going to bring our awareness to our feet. So again, the right foot, the sole of the right foot, the ankle, the heel, the calf and the shin and the knee, the leg, the hip. Then moving to the left leg, the left ankle, the left heel, the left shin, the left calf, the left knee, left thigh, bringing both legs into balance, feeling the support of the chair, feeling the ground underneath. And then start bringing your awareness to that point just above the pubic bone, below the belly button, your second chakra, around the lower back. So it's denoted by the colour orange. It's to do with movement, creativity, variety in life. So for this technique, we're going to use visualisation today. So it's just another technique that can be used to get you to that point of relaxation. So I just want you to imagine that you're standing now on a shore. Feeling the feel of the sand underneath your feet. And as you stand on the shore, you feel the sea coming in. And it trickles over your feet. And as it does, your feet sink deeper into the sand. And the tide moves in and out. There's an ebb and flow of the tide moving in over your feet. And the water is warm and inviting. And you step closer to the sea, moving into the water, feeling it lapping around your legs, inviting you in. And you notice the sky, the sun rising, you feel the heat of the sun. This beautiful orange colour fills the blue sky. This 
the lovely orange color is reflected in the sea, further inviting you into the water. And even though you may not be able to swim, this water you know will carry you, so you feel safe and secure. And you allow yourself to emerge and totally immerse yourself in this warm water, allowing yourself to float, allowing the movement of the waves to carry you and feeling safe in this movement, knowing that no harm will come to you and that you can let go to this ebb and flow. Just allowing yourself now to float into this feeling that though there's movement, there's safety, there's security, you're reminded and you know when you want to return to the shore that will you will be brought back. So allow yourself the luxury of letting go Allowing that feeling to move up throughout the rest of your body, your shoulders, your back, feeling that support, the lull and the ebb and the flow, the movement gently rocking you. Allowing yourself to let go now to this feeling. And when you're ready, Place your feet back on the sand of the shore again and knowing that you've returned safely to where it is you want to be. Allowing yourself to bask in the warmth of the sun as it dries you, returning to the shore returning to your feet standing in the sand. Knowing that you can return to this feeling at any stage you want. Then bringing yourself back into the room. Bringing your awareness down on your face, shoulders, center of the body, abdomen, legs, feet, and bring yourself back into the room. Allowing your eyes to open gently. So change is inevitable in life. For some of us, we don't like that feeling because it makes us fearful. Because if we don't know what's coming up next, we don't know whether we have the tools or the experience to navigate these waters. So working on the root chakra just allows you to let go to change. So change is inevitable. It happens in nature all the time. It happens in life. And instead of being fearful, inviting change and going with it is far better for your overall health and well-being. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're not already receiving them, please put your name and email in the box above my head. And I will see you next month for the next video where we'll be focusing on the solar plexus. So I look forward to seeing you.